Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 84 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. Today, we just got back from the Sky Bridge and got assaulted by dragons, so we get to sort out everything in the castle. So, Kisnir with the Komodo dragons is wandering about the castle. So, we got through by the skin of our teeth. Yes, if that those smoky clouds did not come into the castle, we probably the no the residents would have been assaulted by the dragons quite soon. And even now, those clouds are residing in the castle. We'll take your word for it. It's well suited for defending us, but we don't know how long it will last. We'd better not rely on it. So, the dragon tribes will come again, won't they? Most likely. Their aim is us, after all. So much so, in fact, that they would stoop to underhanded methods. The castle, along with everyone in it, they want to destroy Folly. That is, even if the castle were to retreat from this region, Kisnir doesn't know. They might, but they still really don't have a reason to let the castle run. And they do have two confirmed goals we know about. To stop the castle from proceeding and to destroy the castle itself. The latter is pretty bad. Hey. Well, all of this is still in line with our goal and we need to pass through here. For that reason, we need to force our way through, if need be. And furthermore, continuing as it is, we can't prevail against the Dragon Tribe's numbers. And we need to think of some countermeasure. So, Kiesner keeps looking around the castle checking out the damages and formulating her thoughts. Hey, nobodies. Is this a wall? Avar asks. So Avar was doing his own walk around when he hears the sound of hammers on steel and wood. Take a look. All right, so somebody is yelling to bring those props over here. All right, coming right up. So the residents in the castle have, without any direction, started their own preparations for defense. It seems this uh, assault has really galvanized them together. At the moment they're building a simple wall. 
All right, I'm always gonna help. Huh? Mi chan wa modore yo. Kochi wa ore tachi de yaru kara yo. Hmm? Hey, you get out of here. We've got this. Hey, why is that? The more, the more people you have working, the better it'll go, right? So Avaro tried to squeeze himself in, but as soon as he was noticed, everybody's kicking him out with serious faces. Avaro, san yo, anta wa ude no ii shokunin da. Sora jibun ni wakatta. Oh, they've called him the supervisor. You're in trouble now. Anyway, Avaro, we know you're a very good craftsman. We know it plenty well. Right. So, if I help out, it should be a, that much easier. This isn't your work. So, we are working to protect our families. But Avaro has other things that he must do. Right. So you don't have the free time to be banging around on our crappy little wall with us. We're going back to work. Yeah, Avaro, you got told off. Old guy, you ornery old fucker. Do we have to tear your legs off to keep you in bed? Ha. Huh. But whatever. He says everybody's desperate, and nobody's got any anything to spare. Basically, we're given everything we have. And Avaro needs to do his best too. You may not like it, but for that very reason, you have to do it. Yeah, you're right. Avaro, as the responsible party around here, has stuff that it, he does have to do. Well, on the one hand, Avaro still feels guilty about drawing everyone into it, but. More than that, he feels the responsibility to lead people. Hmm, okay then. It didn't even change the background music at all, did it? Okay, so, Avaro decides to come here and check on Fia. She was injured after all. We kind of forced her to leave the battleground against her will. And worst case scenario, she might be really mad about it. Hey, how are you doing? Well, she says she's all right. Ha, of all you've come back. So, Eel is by her side. What about Mikio and Rosaline? Those two went to gather bandages and blankets. I see. In order to care for someone who's wounded, you need that kind of crap. That's a big help. So, I've always had a look around the castle, right? How was everything? Well, we made it through somehow. And everybody's starting to get to work. Is that so? They're so reliable. Everybody, huh? Yeah, they truly are. The conversation stops. And all of a sudden, Eo gets up and starts to move. Alright, Eo's going to go make some food. Later. 
All right, we'll count on you. Make something tasty, so. No, oh, she's gone already. Almost as if she were trying to leave the two of us alone. Huh. Yeah. Eel's really looking out for these two. So, Fia, is your wound really okay? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you worry too much. So, she was worried about all the residents. It, it, this must have unsettled them. Some of them were injured and... I really don't like the way they say this kind of memory or that kind of memory. But she's talking about they've got scary memories from the incident. Yeah, sorry. It's Avaro's fault. He'll own up to it. We knew that we would probably be opposing the dragons. And if we had considered it more heavily than... Uh, Fia? As Avaro was talking, Fia went and held his hand in hers. So, you're bleeding. You're clenching too hard there. Unconsciously he had clenched his fists up, huh? So, she's telling Avaro not to take everything on his shoulders. It's not his responsibility alone. Alvaro was trying to talk to get Fia in order to calm Fia down. Uh, this is kind of sad. In reverse, Fia is the one who's calming him down. So, Alvaro. If that same circumstance happens again and she's injured, please don't send her away again. Alvaro can't promise that. After all, Fia is the most important to him. That's even if Fia herself tells him to? Yeah. Even if the residents are injured, the very first priority is Fia. How stubborn. Now, on the one hand, she's a little glad because, you know, having her lover protecting her and all. But she's also got a sad side to it as well. So, please. If everybody is in trouble, you can't lose sight that there are, of the fact that there are things more important even than Fia. As best of all can, he's going to face forward and make things work out. <laughs> she gets the impression that he isn't going to do what she says. So, the two of them look at each other a bit. Alright, she feels she's rested enough, so let's think about what we need to do from now on. Yeah, we don't want to have another debacle like this occur. So, in order to 
determine our path from now on, let's consider with everyone what actions we should take. Ooh, isn't she cute? Alright. Considering our direction from now on, we're going to take a look at everything. But, our first priority, of ours willing to say it right of the way, is, as expected, the residence. Right, we absolutely have to protect them. But, like last time, they're likely to attack the non-combatants, so... Even if you say you want to protect everything, doing it isn't as simple as saying it. Furthermore, in the castle there aren't as many people that can be fielded in battle. Perhaps we'll have to set the residence up for self-defense actions. Wouldn't that be difficult? Uh, yeah, even if we just shove weapons into the hands of everybody on board, there are many who simply can't fight, and many who won't be prepared for it. We really don't want to get everybody in the fights. But, even knowing that it would be dangerous going forward, everybody's decided to stay in the castle. You know, when I entered Chapter 7 the first time without Katharito's scenes, there was a scene I saw in my trial runs that indicated a number of residents leaving after that attack. Anyway. So, everybody's started doing their own part for protecting the castle and its residents. So, nobody really seems to want to get off. Mikio also while tending to the wounds of people, heard that sort of thing. There are actually relatively few people who are pessimistic about the outlook at this point. Well, it's good that they have the spirit to do it. Well, on the other hand, they're actually safer here in the castle than say, attempting to walk back. Rosaline also thinks that rather than being in the castle if they were to be on the move themselves without us, if they were attacked they'd lose a lot more people. Yeah, that is a danger. As expected, we're going to need to talk to Kalmerg. Yeah, it'd be best if we could get along with him. I really don't think there's any get along. Oh, Kiesner says it for me. But, she really doesn't think that our story is going to get through to him. So, the dragon tribes that participated in the attack were under the direction of Kalmerg. So, 
These would probably be his most trusted amongst the dragons. Probably persuading them would not be easy. No, it wouldn't. So, while we're all scratching our heads, someone from the corner types up. So, Katarito, what is it? She would like us to leave the persuasion part to her. Is that all right? Yes. We're going to have to talk with the representative of the Dragon Tribes. And for that purpose, we need to be not fighting with the dragons. Mm, true. That is right. But is there a way to prevent it? Katorito is also one of the dragons. But as long as they don't have their proper chieftain, Kalmirg is probably going to be considered the in-charge guy. And furthermore, he personally tried to kill Katorito. Well, she by herself might not be able to do it, but... She thinks for certain that if we go to the Fugen no Shi, I'm going to call that the Cemetery of Illusions. If we go there, then she should be able, she thinks she should be able to get something to work. There, Katorito's ancestors are sleeping, and it's one of the Dragon Tribe's holy grounds. She thinks if she goes, the, that her ancestors will lend her power. So, the Dragon Tribe's holy ground, huh? You don't think that Kalmerg would have placed soldiers in the area? Yes, she thinks probably that nobody, that it will not be nobody there. Ha. Uh, in any case, it's a very important place to the Dragon Tribes after all. Well, it is where the past leaders of the tribes are sleeping. Okay, if what you're saying is true, should we consider that the Dragon Tribes will... something from the Dragon Tribes will be waiting for us there? Well, yes. She's sure that Kalmeg hasn't completely consolidated his rule over the Dragon Tribes. So, if we go to the Cemetery of Illusions, her ancestors should give instruction to her. And if they do that, from then on, she'll be able to somehow convince the Dragon Tribes that she is the heir to the proper ruling class, 
proper ruling line. I see. In order to be recognized as the chieftain of the dragon tribes, there's a trial waiting, huh? Well, if Katarito says so, it's probably possible. So that would be a good solution. And certainly it's better than doing nothing. All right. Let's follow this plan of yours, Katorito. All right, thanks a bunch. Okay, but if everybody leaves the castle, then if the dragons attack again, that would be pretty bad. Right. For that reason, we're going to be splitting into groups. Avaro will be going with Kaltorito to that holy ground. In addition, Rosaline as the spirit mage, Rishu, who is knowledgeable in history, and Mikshuana as... Okay, just as... Uh, part of the muscle they will be go the five of them will go huh oh, what? Rosaline doesn't mind and being by Avaro's side is where she wants to be anyway and Rishu is pleased that he chose her. Make sure Anna doesn't mind. So, this is the heading outside. As for staying in the castle, in the worst case, the dragon tribes may attack. So we need to prepare for that. First of all, there's Fia. And directing the knights will be Kisnir. Handling the equipment side of things as an engineer is Deet. And furthermore, the food and medical aspects will be handled by Eel and Mikeu. So, Fia's going to be staying in the castle, huh? This splitting up thing is kind of... makes her lonely. As long as you're here, Fia, everyone will be... will feel safe. You just need to run around smiling like usual, and everybody will do their best. That's why we're leaving the castle to you. No, oh, when Avara says it like that, she really gets the... She really feels like she wants to do it. Alright, as a goddess, she's going to guide everyone in the castle. Alright, we're counting on you. And Kisnir, as a knight, we would like you to protect everyone in the castle. We'll leave the directing... Yeah, probably directions to you. She understands. She wields a sword in order to protect people. Alright, and Deet, you're my replacement. Alright, leave it to him. He'll fix everything up. And he'll MQ. Be sure to protect Fia. Have their roles not changed? Yeah, go yes. protect her. <laughs> yes, leave Fia's protection to us. Somehow she feels like she's being protected here. 
Yeah, duh. I've always willing to say it any number of times, but we can't allow fear to be defeated. So, try to put up with this. Well, she's glad that she's being taken care of, but after all, she does feel she'll be a little lonely without Avaro. Goes in for a kiss. Is this the first time Avaro has actually done something of his... Made a sexual move on his own? Heh, <laughs> well, whatever. Anyway, Phil is complaining, so he moves in for the kiss to shut her up. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Yeah, enough of your whining. Tuh. Anyway, Havaro says he's going to be lonely too. But right now is a very important time. So you need to endure it, and we all need to fulfill our roles in this. I'm headed out. Okay, then have a nice trip. <laughs> so in the end, Fia does give us a smile to bless the mission. And with this, our next step of actions have been decided. <laughs> Wow. They always talked about being lovers, but to think it was really true. Starting with Mikshuana, everybody else starts blushing and looking away. Okay, if you say so. I'd have to think that somebody would just keep staring. I nominate Eel. Anyway, this new map is open. And as we talked about, the characters will be kind of forced into these two roles. But if we need to level up, we can go back to other maps and there won't be that restriction. Yeah, there's always time to do other stuff. This is a normal map now, we can go to it. But this is a special map and we can't deploy anybody other than what we're actually taking. In fact, we can't undeploy the people from this screen. But that's neither here nor there because I think I'm out of time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.